What's up, YouTubers, YouTubeettes? So today we're going to be preparing silica gel G. And what it's used for is making TLC plates for um, flash chromatography. And so the reason I have this cat litter in here is this cat litter is made out of silica gel crystals. And so you can see that there's the blue in there and the clear and then that white color. It's all just different shades of silica gel, even though it is all still just silica gel. And so now what I'm going to do is, uh, this is in a blender right here, so I'm going to blend it up to a powder and um, be very careful if you do this because the powder will cause silica silicosis, silicosis, which like if it was from a volcano, it'd be pneumo ultra microscopic volcanicona siliconiosis. And so, it's not something to laugh at. It's seriously dangerous. And so be very, very careful if you do decide to blend this stuff up to a powder. And so anyways, <clears throat> we're going to blend it up to a powder, and then we're going to add some gypsum to it. And I'll get this blended up and be right back. All right, so I got 100 grams in here of powderized silica gel. And so now I'm going to add 10 to 15 percent gypsum. Okay, that's good. And so now I'm going to put this back in the blender and blend it again. And so now straight out the blender and into the container. And it's literally is that simple to make silica gel G. And now if you want to make a specific mesh size from here, you screen it to your desired mesh. Which for me being a hobbyist or whatever, it's not really that important. Especially since this is just for TLC plates, not for actual chromatography in the, like a flash column or whatever so it's not crucial as far as I'm concerned for again for me being a hobbyist but it's that that easy so till next time guys have a good one